Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family, and also go check out my Instagram. Axel is singing today, if you guys could hear that. <laughs> um, I thought I would sit down and do a coffee and chill this morning, and I do have my Axel being a little loud this morning. So bear with me with that, but um, this is just a coffee and chill. I am gonna be doing my monthly beauty favorites and I am super excited, but I honestly feel like this is probably the month where I've had like the least amount of products. But this is a coffee and chill, so it is time to mask, and I'm super excited about this mask. I have heard amazing things about it. I've had this in my collection for a while, but I've never tried it, so this is gonna be a first impressions. So this is from Drunk Elephant. I believe I got this in, I think it was in the Lore Beauty Box. This is their TLC Sakari Baby Facial, and it has 20% AHA and 2% BHA in it. So I don't wanna say this is like an intense mask, but it is supposed to be like pretty good mask at getting all the dead skin and stuff like that off your face. This is one that it does suggest to use just once weekly. On the bottle, this says to apply an even layer to clean dry skin, leave on for 20 minutes, which is odd for me because I thought that this was like one that you like left on for like five minutes, but it actually is 20 minutes. Then you are supposed to rinse with warm water and pat dry. Follow immediately with our Marula oil for best results. Slight tingling may be experienced. All right. This mask has been out for a little while now, but I have heard reviews about the new, um, I wanna say it's called like Fat Glow Facial, P-H-A-T, from Ula Hendrickson. And it's supposed to be a lot like that one. Um, and I've heard amazing things about that. So I'm really hoping that this gives me really good results. I have a lot of clogged pores and my skin just overall just needs to be like, I mean, it's a damage control time. So, so this is not the full size. Like I said, this is just a sample deluxe sample size that I got in a subscription. You only have 15 mils in this, which is five or 0.5 fluid ounces. The full size has 1.69 ounces, 50 mils. So quite a difference, but this bad boy retails for $80. You do get a lot more in it, but Drunk Elephant is pretty steep in their prices, I can say that, but usually good skincare is. I'm gonna go ahead and I don't even know how much I'm gonna need. It's kind of like a nude color. But I'm gonna go ahead, it said, pretty sure it said to layer it up. Didn't I read that? Apply an even layer to clean, clean skin, and my skin is clean. I just washed my face. It kind of has like a waxy feel to it. Like once you're rubbing it on, like it gets really thick. And I'm honestly having to use quite a bit of product to cover my whole face, which I do have a rather large face, but keep that in mind with this product. And it doesn't like, it's nude kind of when it comes out of the bottle, but as you guys can see going on, it doesn't really leave like any type of coloring, which is fine. It's probably better for your skin, honestly, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to like do product placement, not being able to really see I don't want to miss any spots, you know, since this is a mask that you are supposed to use just once a week. All right, let's read about this real quick and then I can jump into my favorites. It says, a pro quality facial that resurfaces skin to reveal greater clarity, improved skin texture and tone, and a more youthful looking appearance. It is for normal, dry combination and oily, so pretty much all skin types. And um, skincare concerns can be fine lines, dark spots, wrinkles, and pores. So definitely mine is going to be more for my pores and the texture. It is supposed to exfoliate the surface of dead skin cells, revs up surface turnover to smooth and brighten the appearance of skin. It balances and brightens the skin. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. says in a clinical study, 
of 104 women ages 25 to 55 95% found skin appeared revived, 94% found skin to be deeply cleansed and resurfaced, 93% found skin texture baby soft and smooth, it also appeared brighter and radiant, 92% found skin appeared to have a healthy glow and boosted clarity, um, 91 felt skin appeared fresh and youthful, and 90% found skin appeared clear and more even. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to go ahead and watch my time on this because I really, I have borderline sensitive skin. It used to be a lot more sensitive. It's not as sensitive anymore. So I'm usually okay as long as I do like the recommended time, but I don't want to get too crazy and go overboard with that. So yeah, I'm going to leave this on. You can definitely kind of tell that there's something on my face though. So maybe it gets darker as it goes. I don't know. There is slight tingling, almost like that painful tingle on your skin, but nothing too crazy either. And for anybody new to my channel, I do have combo to dry skin if you are interested, but um, I have a lot of stress and hormonal breakouts quite a bit. You will notice that on my channel, but besides that, I'm usually always dry and then like borderline combo. And around the summer months, I am a little bit more oily just right in my T-zone, which that's kind of what makes me more combo. I'm going to throw on some of my floss. Uh, gloss real quick because my lips are feeling so dry too at the moment. I've been seeing people complain about that a lot lately. Like it's not even winter or fall time and like my lips are dried out. But I've seen like a few different people complain about it now and I'm just like, me too. I feel ya. All right, so I do have my favorites right here. Like I said, there's not too many this month, but I still want to mention them. I'm glad you guys liked the setup last month with my monthly favorites too because I really like that I get to sit here and mask and show you guys my favorites at the same time. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start out with the moisturizer that I do want to mention because now that I'm on the go every single day and although I'm already kind of in the mom routine of just throwing on some big sunglasses and going, <laughs> um, this moisturizer right here is amazing. This is just a sample size. It's another product that I have gotten over and over again with Sephora points in the past, so I kind of had a stock fill of them. But this is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer, and it is so good. This is just called Nude Glow. I don't know if there's like even different um, tints or what. It doesn't even really leave like a full-on tint on my face. It just leaves a glow, and it's very like subtle but it's so nice, like I just love it. Thought I'd mention it though, because I use that as a mom hack all the time. So for primer, I did wanna give props to the Yinsa primer again. This is their Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. And I have been using this quite a bit and I've been really liking the outcome. I have tried a couple other primers um, that you guys will see here on my channel soon or you may already have, but this is the one that I've tried out and I've actually used it several times since and I've really been liking it. Um, I know that I'm the newer ones that I have, I'm gonna start trying out a little bit more day to day, but yeah, this one's just really good. I've really been liking it. I feel like it really has worked well with my skin type and keeping my makeup in place. And yeah, I overall just really like the appearance of my makeup when I wear this and it's been a great primer. For foundation, I've been going back to my Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I just love this. I feel like so many people are mad about the color range that it was always kind of hard to talk about and um, I still was so intrigued because I've always loved my Beauty Blender. I use a Beauty Blender all the time and it still is hands down my favorite. I love um, Morphe's sponge and you know, I can get by like with the real techniques, but Beauty Blender's always been my favorite. I just love the texture of it so much more. And I was just really excited about this foundation and I've loved this foundation ever since I've tried it. I feel like it just gives me like kind of like a subtle glow. So it's very like luminous, but it's not like over the top either, but it just, works amazingly on dry skin for me. Like, it's just so good. 
and I do believe they have upped their shade range too, so that's nice as well. Okay, moving from there, I did want to give props to this Cover Effects face palette. This is the Perfector face palette light medium. So there's quite a bit going on in here, and I don't even use all of this. There is like a nice size mirror, but you have quite a bit going on. You have a contour, a blush, a highlighter, a couple highlighters, a brightener, and a finishing powder. And I wanted to talk about this because a couple different reasons. So when I first tried this palette, I really did like it. I thought it was pretty, but I wanted to keep trying it out. The contour, I think, is pretty. It's not something that I necessarily like reach for this palette for. But if I reach for this palette, I'll go ahead and use the contour. So the highlighters, I don't really use. I feel like even being the light medium palette, these two over here, they look lighter on camera. But once I apply them to my face, they just don't work for me. And I think it's the tones and everything. This one over here seems like it'll work a little bit better for me, but it's a smidge too dark. Or this one is a little too pinky for my liking. So I actually go for this middle brightener and... I don't know what's the difference between a brightener and a highlighter, <laughs> but um, it's just a lot lighter and it's really pretty. I can actually pull this off really well. So that's the highlighter that I use when I go into this palette. The finishing powder, I haven't really touched base on too much. I need to keep trying it out, but it's just not anything that I ever go for, I guess. I need to try it out more. And lastly, the blush. The blush is what wins me over with this. I do think, like I said, the contour and the brightener is really pretty, but that blush is so beautiful. And you guys have seen me rave about the Zoella and ColourPop blush that I love so much. And it's like gone, discontinued, and I was so upset about it. But this shade right here is such a close dupe to that, that it makes me so happy because I have this palette and I can keep using this one as well. And it's kind of like I have double now because I won't be able to repurchase that one. But I do love ColourPop's formula a lot. Maybe even a little bit more than this. But shade is like identical. And formula is not too far off from that either. And I really do like cover effects. Another blush palette I wanted to go ahead and mention is the Alomar Colorette Blush Trio. This is also fair light, so it's a lighter one too, but you have these three tones here that are kind of peachy. You kind of have like a pink moment in the middle, but this is such a good palette for the summertime. I feel like these are not shades that I'll reach for a lot in the winter or fall time, but spring and summer, these are beautiful and they just bring life to your cheeks. Like, they're just stunning. And they kind of, or two of them more, um, Scorcher and Castaway, the more peachy hued ones, they have more of like a sheen to them as well. And I love that for the summertime. The only other highlighter that I have in here to share with you guys is my Cover Effects Enhancer Drops. I recently did a video on the J Cats Beauty Highlight Drops. And you guys can watch that video. I'll link it up above for you, but I really do like those drops. I just feel like I haven't reached for them again just because of how white it is, where I like more, if I'm going to go into drops like this, I kind of like that champagne color. This is the shade Moonlight, but I said in that video, I don't know why I don't use these enough, and ever since I watched it in that video, I have been using this because... Honestly, it's just so beautiful. Okay, so I said that I didn't have a lot going on here, and I really meant that. I'm already two eyeshadow palettes, but I do have four right here. So the first one is the Jawbreaker. I haven't been able to set it down ever since I got it. It's just so beautiful. You guys have seen it on my Instagram and here on my channel quite a bit. And even on my blog, I have a blog post on this, but I just wanted to mention it again because even in the month of August, I just keep reaching for this. Even if I'm in a very subtle mood and I just want like a pop of color, this is so amazing. Another pop of color palette that I have been trying out this past month, I've already got my four looks, one palette up on it is the BH Cosmetics Summer in Saint Tropez. So many pops of color in this palette. It is just so beautiful. Um, from the mattes to the metallics, I feel like it is just stunning. You guys can kind of see my comparison of this with the Jawbreaker palette and the formula and all of that in my video on this. There is reasons why I like both of them, but I do think that they're both gorgeous palettes with amazing shades. So go check out my video if you want more of a detailed review on that because I did do four different looks. But 
in the end, it's in my favorites because I really like the outcome of at least some of the looks, if not all of them from this palette. But this second one, I was a little bit more mixed with because of a look that I had got with this. This is the BH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona palette. I'm still including it because the other looks were amazing with this. Again, I have another four looks, one palette. I actually do with Jawbreaker and both of these BH Cosmetics. So I will have them linked for you guys, either in my cards or in my description box. But um, the fourth palette, I do not. And I just have one look, but I will still link that one for you. But with both of these BH Cosmetics palettes, I went into them four looks, one palette, so that I could really do a first impressions, show you four different looks, and do a whole wrap-up review on it. I really liked how they turned out. I just feel like I had a little bit more trouble with the Beautiful in Barcelona palette than I did with the Saint Tropez. But... In the end, I do think it's really pretty. I feel like I'll reach for this palette a whole lot more in the fall time. Those shades are just stunning for fall, so I am looking forward to pulling this back out in the fall time as well. You guys will probably see it in my favorites then. Then the last palette I have is Kylie's Summer Palette right here, the Under the Sea Palette. I wanted to mention it because I have used it in that video, which I will link, but besides that, I've only used this off camera because of how neutral and stuff this is. I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see any more looks with it. If you do, let me know and I'll be sure to do some and maybe like a Wednesday wine or something, but um, I definitely will be filming with it soon, I think for like an IGTV video or something like that for my Instagram because I'm wanting to play up some of the colors again because like I said, when I wear it just like out of the house day to day, it's more just like a neutral look, but this palette is gorgeous for that because of the neutral tones that it has in it and there's some color if I want to add a little bit of a pop. I do actually have a mascara that I wanted to mention. I do not like the wand on this mascara. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I don't really care for the wand. It's a thicker one that has the plastic bristles and I'm just not a big fan of those. I'm just like, ugh, give me a fluffy wand and I'll be okay with that. But the formula on this though is just super good. It's super black, it's long lasting. I feel like it does go a little bit like on, I've had like a little bit of an issue with stabbing myself in the eye or getting a little bit up here or you know some down here because of the wand. It's not really the formula's fault but I don't know every time I wear this I love how my lashes look. I just think it's so beautiful. It's definitely more of like a go-to day-to-day mascara, just more of like a natural. I think it just separates my lashes and kind of lengthens them. Not so much volume but for like a natural lash moment it's so beautiful. And lastly, we have my lip products that I've been loving. So speaking of Kylie with that palette, she also came out with a beautiful um, matte nude lipstick, which is stunning. This is called Beach Bum, and I absolutely love this shade. I will be doing swatches for you guys, but this shade is so freaking beautiful. It is just like the perfect like light pink, but more nude lip. It is stunning. I love it. I'm so glad that I got it. And I have mentioned it before, but like if you haven't tried out her lipsticks, you are missing out because they are like so good. I love the formula. These are mattes. This other one that I have, I actually bought last year with her um, Halloween collection, which I'm really hoping she's going to do a Halloween collection this year again. I loved last year's. But this is Creep It Real. They're super close, but this one is definitely more nude, the Creep It Real, um, than Beach Bum. Beach Bum has a little bit more of a pinky hue, but they're both more like on the warm tone side of nudes. <laughs> and I, of course, have liquid lipstick. So I do have a couple more nudes that I want to throw in here. This first one is Mannequin from Jeffree Star. And it is so beautiful. It's actually really close to Creep It Real from Kylie. It's just, it dries down a little bit lighter than that one. And it's in a liquid lipstick form instead of just a regular matte lipstick. I also have the Smashbox Always On liquid lipstick in the shade Stepping Out, which is also a lot like them, but definitely darker. It has a little bit more of like a brown hue to it than the other ones. And then for this month, I definitely started doing a lot more neutral eyes with a pop of color lip, and I love that. So this one right here is the next one. It's more of like a terracotta color. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade 
Miami Fever. I've already bragged about this one on my channel. I love it so much. It is so beautiful and to me it's like a red it says because it's just like a pop on your lips especially if you do like bold highlight, natural eye makeup. It's just so beautiful paired with that. But then I got a little bit vibrant this month and I rocked this Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick and it is so beautiful and I honestly don't know if this is like available for purchase or not because it was a part of her Allure Beauty box, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping that she would make it available on her website. I don't know why she wouldn't. It's such a beautiful shade. I went ahead and swatched my next one too, but hers is right here, this top bright cut shade. They're actually really close. The second one is... Anna Nicole from Jeffree Star. They're both so beautiful. I've been loving the pop of red that has a little bit more of like an orange tone to it. Those have actually been my go-to for like a bright, bright pop of color, but I love all of these. But you can kind of see how I've gotten a little bit more out of my comfort zone of nudes because I rock nudes like all summer long and into some more vibrant shades and I don't know what kind of mood I'm going to be on this fall though. Usually I'm like more vampy and grungy, but I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna want some more pops of color and maybe even still staying with nudes. I'm just loving nudes. Okay, and it was time for me to go ahead and wash off my mask, so I went ahead and did that real quick off camera, but my skin is still looking pretty rough, guys. It's just in that state right now, but I can tell you, like, my skin feels so soft now. Definitely a lot less texture than what I had going on well ago, so... Definitely I'm excited to keep giving this a go. Like I said, you can only use it um, once a week, so I will just have to keep track of that and um, keep trying it out. But before I forget, before I run out the door this morning, I wanted to go ahead and put on my moisturizer that has SPF of 50. This is the Kula Sport White Tea Moisturizer. Love this stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here so I can go ahead and jump off here and start my day. I hope you guys enjoyed my monthly beauty favorites and this Monday's coffee and chill. Like always, have a great Monday and a great week and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.